Hello guys, in the previous video we have discussed about Hooke's law and how to find the equivalent spring constant when springs are connected in series. Now in this video we will see how to solve for equivalent spring constant when springs are connected in parallel. So let's begin. Consider two springs connected to a mass m as shown. The thumb rule for the parallel connection is if the mass m moves by a distance e then the two springs in parallel will also elongate by e. So the overall elongation will be same as that of elongation of each spring. Since both the springs are identical and placed symmetrical on the mass, both the springs will exert same amount of tension force. So from the free body diagram of mass m, we can write T is equals to mg by 2 and from Hooke's law, elongation of springs E is equals to T by k which is equals to mg by 2k. Now if the two springs are replaced by an equivalent spring of spring constant k dash, then its elongation E dash is equals to mg by k dash. And since E equal to E dash, we can write k dash is equals to 2k. Thus, the equivalent spring constant k dash is equals to 2k. Similarly, if n equivalent springs are connected in parallel, then k dash is equals to nk. Now, I have a small question for you. What will happen when a mass m is suspended by two unequal springs, whether both the springs will undergo same amount of elongation or not? The answer is no. Springs will have different elongations and the mass will tilt. But since the springs are placed symmetrically on the mass, tension in both the springs will be equal that is t equal to mg by 2. Let the difference in elongations be letter d. Then the inclination of the mass m can be found using tan theta is equals to d by l, where l is the distance between two springs. And the elongation of each spring can be found using Hooke's law. We can substitute d and rewrite the equation as follows. So when springs with unequal spring constants are connected in parallel to a freely hanging mass, the springs will have unequal elongations. For these kind of systems, equivalent spring mass system cannot be constructed with a single spring. But consider a case where the mass is restricted to tilt by means of supports. Even though the springs have different spring constants, they were forced to undergo same amount of compression. Here in this case, the force acting on the springs will not be equal. Consider the free body diagram of mass m, then we can write mg is equals to f1 plus f2. And using Hooke's law, it can be rewritten as follows. Here the displacement of the mass and the spring's compression are equal. So for these two springs, it is possible to construct an equivalent spring mass system. If the compression of the equivalent spring is E dash, then E dash is equals to mg by k dash. And since E dash is equals to E, therefore k dash is equals to k1 plus k2. Now I have a question for you. If three equal springs are connected as shown here, then what will be the equivalent spring constant? So the answer is 3k. Here, all the three springs are connected in parallel because if the mass m moves by distance x, then all the three springs have to undergo elongation or compression of x. So the equivalent spring constant k dash is equal to the sum of all the spring constants, which is 3k. Please note that all the concepts that we have discussed today is assuming that the springs have equal amount of natural length. I hope you got the concept. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment down below. You can download the summary notes from the description. Thank you.